Hey guys, it's King of Tech here today. I will be showing you guys how to get a big graphical boost on PUBG with minimal uh, FPS changes. Uh, this could really be a matter of life and death in a game like PUBG. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is head to this website, reshade.me, uh, and you're going to click download here and download again. Basically, this is a post processing software. Uh, that helps make the game look graphically better, and it's been said by Player Unknown himself to be legal, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so I'll just open the setup myself and run you through the steps. So you want to select the game. This is the directory where your uh, your uh, PUBG actually uh, is installed into. So I'll link this in the description. But very quickly, you basically access it by going to C. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, PUBG, TSL Game, Binaries, Win64, and then hitting tslgame.exe, and then hit Open. Select Direct3D 10 Plus as the rendering API. Just click on the little uh, radio box, and uh, you're not going to get the screen. Uh, I do, because I already have the the uh, reshade software and you're going to click yes on the github download now you're just going to wait for it to um, download I will just oops okay. Right, so now that it's downloaded, you've got a lot of effect files, you're going to uncheck these. And basically these are the ones you want to install, you don't necessarily have to activate them. So what I like to do is Adaptive Sharpen, I'm actually not a fan, but a lot of people like it. So uh, take that, Bloom, uh, Clarity, where else? Uh, HDR is a nice option, but be wary if you have a mid-range graphics card that will slow your FPS by a fair amount. Uh, I like both Technicolors, Vibrance, Vignette. Yeah, I think that's all I'll go for. Uh, you can definitely just search online and have a look at what the different effects do. Basically Adaptive Sharpen makes uh, things far away actually look very clear. It just makes my player kind of look shimmery, so I'm not, I'm not too much of a fan. Uh, Bloom's very nice, uh, just to make the game have better contrasts. Clarity uh, makes sort of dark areas look a lot better. So just have a play around, click OK, it's going to say done, you can close the game and open Play Unknown's Battlegrounds. Now what you'll observe uh, when you open Play Unknown's Battlegrounds is that you'll have a new menu uh, at the top saying welcome to reshade. So reshade is basically an overlay, uh, as you can see up there. Uh, if you press Shift F2, you can actually uh, create, uh, open up the configuration. So you can see uh, right now, uh, this is the sort of textures you have in the game, and this is from putting everything to low and texture to medium. Maybe I'll set it to ultra for now, just to just to let people see what. Okay, so this is what the game looks like, um, and once you hit to shift F2, you're going to go to the reshade menu. If it's your first time, it'll say it'll have a little tutorial come up, which is nice. Basically, you have something called a preset, which you can make by pressing the plus button and sort of adding a name for your preset. And then once you have a preset, uh, you can basically, all the different thingies that you just installed, uh, you can uncheck them and recheck them to basically make the game look pretty good and this really helps uh, to basically you know, get an upper advantage on your uh, teammates on your teammates on your enemies 
So I hope this helps, uh, makes the game a lot better, and uh, please like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any issues, I'll try and help you out, and I uh, hope to see you again.